What is up everybody? Welcome to this YouTube video. In today's video, we are taking a look at the new um, Mercurial Vapor 14 Elite colorway and the official colorway is chlorine blue and laser orange um and this is a 10.5 obviously my size it's gonna hopefully run down pretty quick um i do have a comparison of the other older colorway of the mercurial um vapor 14 so here we go let's take a look at what's changed what is different obviously this area is different here no more the speed wing they just kind of added i don't know exactly what the function of this i didn't know the function of the speed wings either um and here is the swoosh so you got mercurial logo swoosh you got this um kind of half circle i guess it could be a, a, a full circle if you look at it this way <laughs> all the way around um but nothing different no tech specs nothing different all they did was and they called this the blueprint so it's basically showing i guess um when they're mocking up sketches i the best way i would put it is when they're mocking up sketches um this is what it looks like to for them you know and that's why you got the swoosh is more um reminiscent to the um 13 the Mercurio 13 um to me and then it's got that little broken up swoosh i guess you can call it um but i think i think on the on the vapors um rather superfly or mercurial i think the swoosh belongs on the side just my opinion um i'll show you guys a string bag really quick because i know a lot of people love that here it is nice color great color i love the color um trying to go quick just because there's nothing different um, and I do want to show you guys the differences on the look aspect of the shoe. And then don't mind my 14s. They're, I just wore them the other two days ago and they're dirty. Um, as you can see, I didn't bother cleaning them because I said, right, what for? Um, not yet anyway. Although I do want to clean them, just not yet. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Differences, obviously, is going to be the swoosh, um, the speed wings. Same uppers, everything exactly the same. You got the same sole plate on the bottom as the older colorway. Um, it seems like they kind of have started doing this as revamping, I guess. Um, after about a year or something, they just changed the look a little bit, which is it's a it's a it's I guess it's okay. Um, it kind of gives it a fresh look where people might um, be tired of the look. <laughs> I really don't know why maybe it's just marketing or they just want to sell more shoes boots um that could be why but yeah there's not gonna be anything different spec wise i did think that if you i don't know the camera will pick it up but you see how it's like indented here on this side versus the right shoe of this one it's just normal i f i felt like that was maybe going to make it feel different but nope feels exactly the same I weighed these 7.7 .7 ounces at a 10 and a half. These weighed dirty and all 7.7 .7 ounces in a 10 and a half. So again, dirt doesn't weigh anything is what that's telling me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But the weight does not change between the boots either. So maybe it looks like they added more stuff to the boot, but I guess it's the same. Uh, so now, why do I have the Mercurial? 14 instead of superfly which i like playing in the superfly and i just confirmed it why so when i was playing in these the right foot back here i just had some slippage in the heel area back here and i don't know why i haven't played in a in a in a vapor in a long time of vapor 14 since i don't remember <laughs> it's been a few months and i've been playing only in superflies so um i feel like i have to play in the superfly just because i don't have that issue do i still think it's the same boot absolutely does the superfly offer any lockdown uh capabilities uh ankle support no i think i think i just prefer the little extra instead of having this cut off here i think i just prefer not i'm so used to the superfly that i just prefer having that extra amount of material um, one thing I did notice, I don't know if it's going to change, so don't quote me on this, but I did notice that, and for the first time ever, this is the first time that I'm seeing this, 
Nike actually changed the price of the Superfly, right? So this is still the same price um, at 250. The Superfly was always 275, and now in this colorway, it has dropped down to 260. So therefore, kind of gives you a little bit more of an option, an incentive to get the Superfly if that's what you want. You're not paying more that much for um, the Superfly. So I'm excited to receive the Superfly in this colorway. Um, uh, and, and especially that it's a cheaper price. And I, like I said, I don't know if that's a misprint on Nike, a typo on their website, but definitely if you can snag them, I don't think they're available yet. This was like an early access for this pair. Um, but if that is going to stand, cause I've seen on other websites so far and they still have the, the Superfly at the original 275 price. So I don't know if that's just Nike's way of, you know, wanting to sell more product because I mean, technically I think the shoes could sell if they wanted to, they could sell them for way much less than what they actually do. But I mean, I understand a lot of time investment technology go, does go into the boots, but I think the actual process of making them is probably not that much still, you know, it's just like your sneakers. Um, a lot of time and, and you have teams that create and all that stuff so i understand why they got to put the price up but i feel like they could be a little lower and it shows they're maybe they're trying to help some people out you know and or maybe they're just not selling a lot of the superfly i mean that could be the case because if you look on nike's website at least which is where i do all my boot shopping is just nike obviously um and it, a lot of their Superfly models are not selling out. The colorways are not selling out. So maybe they're just trying to increase sales a little bit or, you know, make a push for the Superfly. Um, I still think that they may, they're making a mistake by having it be the same boot with just the extra collar. I've said this and I'm going to keep saying it. I really love when they had the, you know, they were really different boots. And they started like that and I feel they need to go back to that ASAP and then they won't have the problem of worrying about selling stuff so all right man i'm talking too much i didn't want to make the video too too long hopefully you watched to the end hopefully you enjoyed the content and just got a quick look at the new uh boots so with that being said guys thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one peace